Dave Anderson. The third in a line of storm systems that were really storm systems in name only over the weekend, of course, are now perking up here today, leading us to first a dense fog advisory all along the shoreline of Lake Superior in effect until 1 o'clock tomorrow. And then for the head of the lakes from Duluth down to the south, through a slice of Minnesota and a slice of Wisconsin here, flash flood watch. Low pressure system and its cold front working through tonight, bringing a 60 to 80% chance for heavy rain through tomorrow morning. I'll talk about how much we'll get in just a bit, but uh, that could be enough to overwhelm our ditches. And so indeed we're watching out for floods. We'll talk about that, like I mentioned in just a little bit, but first we set the stage by looking at the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. Not bad over the hill, partly cloudy sky in 74, but that warmer temperature, of course, with its convection, its lift, could aggravate the situation as far as those storms go. Winds right now are southerly, southwesterly, 7 miles per hour. Relative humidity is 64%. Current temperatures, where that cold front has come through, we've dipped down from the 70s into the 60s. So International Falls may not get much more rain here tonight, and their current temp is 66. But where the front hasn't come yet, we're looking at 70s up over the hill. And that's where the greatest juice in the atmosphere could be shoved up by the cold front and the convection of the heat, the double whammy to bring thunderstorms, especially in northern Wisconsin here where Hayward right now is at 80 degrees. A little bit on the cooler side in the upper peninsula, but temperatures there could perk up as well because one of the conundrums of a cold front is it drives warmer temperatures ahead of it. So first you'll warm up and then you'll cool down. Doppler map right now shows the rain is gentler along the cold front here uh, in Minnesota, but it's into Wisconsin in the warm sector of the low pressure system, aided and abetted by the heat of the day. We're seeing some clusters of stronger storms, not quite yet severe, but they'll be around Solon Springs and Minong, Gordon, Wascott here from now until about six o'clock. You may get shook up a little bit here as those rumble through, and they may continue to rumble through till about midnight, especially again from the head of the lakes through Wisconsin into the upper peninsula of Michigan. So how much rain are we going to be getting here? Decent amounts. Decent amounts that frankly we need. And so I'll step off here and let you take a look at what our region is going to get. And the stripe of the heaviest amounts will go from the North Shore through Wisconsin into the Upper Peninsula. Like I mentioned, International Falls or Grand Rapids. You may have seen everything here. Bottom line is about three quarters of an inch for the Twin Ports, maybe an inch for Solon Springs, and three quarters around Hayward. And then by tomorrow morning, it should be gone almost as quickly as it came and we'll start to clear up. Tonight in Minnesota, 60% chance for the showers and storms. Low temps about uh, 50 to 57 degrees, maybe a hair cooler towards Grand Marais. In Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there, 55 to 62, with an 80% chance for the showers and storms. Tomorrow in Wisconsin and Michigan, slowly clearing sky as the low departs. High temps, 78 to 80, a narrow band and even pretty warm right by the lake. In Minnesota, it will still be cooler by the lake, 65 to 70 there, but 78 to 81 farther inland with a slow clearing sky there as well. So does it stay clear for a while? Yes, it does. Higher pressure coming in behind this low will first, of course, help spike temperatures up into the 70s through Thursday, but then its flow will start to drop temperatures down into the 60s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Kristen, our next rain chance, probably won't be with us here again then till Monday. All right, thanks, Dave. Tonight, we'll get a better idea of just how big of a toll COVID-19 took on Duluth's Spirit Mountain. Here's a live look.